Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we tried, and notice I say tried, to mix TPU and nylon together. It did not work. Same, basically, same basic results we had when we did it with ABS. Um, the TPU simply could not push through, even though I primed the extruder before starting this, and you can actually see that there's a little bit of black down here because that's what the TPU was. Uh, it was quickly overcome by the uh, uh, nylon. Now, you, there's a few little specks of black in here, so some did make it out, but basically it didn't work. So what I want to kind of take some of this time is, is to kind of talk about a, a little bit this extruder, this mixing extruder setup, um, the hot end, and, and kind of how the pieces come together and what I've come to discover about mixing some of these filaments. So what I want to start with here, I'll tip this up so it's got less glare on it. So kind of long story short, as we've talked about before, we've got two, uh, two coal breaks here. And so we have 1.5, sorry, 1.75 millimeters of filament coming in. So really we have twice the filament coming in as a normal printer. So it's coming down here through the coal break into the heat block. So we have one ceramic heater, just like we would a regular hot end that was being fed, just a single stream of 1.75 filament. But we're actually pushing double the filament into this block. And basically this is, has a Y. Now we have back pressure from the nozzle because really think about this. You know, we have over three millimeters, we actually have three and a half millimeters of filament coming into this hot end. So now if this one is more viscous or can push back up here, and this is what I was discovering um, as I was, was messing around with, with the nylon, is what was happening is the nylon was actually pushing back up into um, the TPU's coal break, and, and this was actually creating a little bit of a problem. And you kind of see this came out kind of nasty because of that. Actually, I'm surprised it came out so good at only 50%, but, you know, it's nasty none the least. And, and so this is, you know, a bit of the challenge, was whatever we feed this has to be somewhat at least competitive filament-wise, where it can flow past or push itself in a competitive fashion with whatever other co-filament we're using. Uh, with this. So if, if I actually, now this has, you know, a 0.4 nozzle on it. If I probably up the nozzle size to 0.8, my likelihood of mixing TPU and another polymer would probably be pretty good or better than what I have here. Maybe I'll try that experiment in the future. Um, but you know, again, with the 0.4, the back pressure is holding it back and the TPU is too flimsy to actually push down. The other piece I want to talk about is something I covered in the last episode. I want to retouch upon this is also this is a geared extruder because we've been talking about why we've been having some problems at the crown and why we're getting some of this nastiness like at the top here. Um, kind of long story short, this isn't a direct drive extruder. So we have the motor with a gear, a smaller gear, and then we have a bigger gear that's connected to the actual cog that's moving the filament. Now, what's happening here, I think, partly in some of the crown issues, is again, you know, this, you know, you have to make quite a few turns of the smaller motor to turn this bigger uh, gear. So, what the situation is, I think, what's happening is the throw of this is be is getting too short. Um, for this top piece. Now I'm going to have to do some more experimenting, but I think that's what's happening. So in other words, the turn of this gear is is too fine to extrude enough. So as we go up and we go to shorter strokes, we need to over extrude a little bit to compensate for this difference. So that's what I'm kind of guessing. I'd like to hear your comments down below, see what you think about this. So anyways, this really kind of brings to closure. I can't think of too many more things I can throw at the nylon, but I'm going to do a wrap-up session with the nylon as a whole, so kind of look for that coming. 
But uh, pretty much nylon's been my best bet as far as uh, mixing fil filaments in a copolymer. So I am going to do some additional dimensional studies, string studies on a couple different combinations like PEG and ABS. I won't obviously use TPU because it just simply didn't work. So anyways, I just kind of want to close out the gambit because everybody's going to ask me, well, what about TPU and nylon? Doesn't work sort of like ABS. So anyways, hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell over there. Swag shop up in the corner. And we'll see you in the next video where we talk some more about mixing. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up.